Okay, now we have come to video number 4. What we will do, we will do some exercises. But before we do the exercises, let's uh, again like, uh, let us take a look at the summary. We can call option and put option. Okay, as I told you just now, uh, in order for us to decide whether we should exercise or not, the call option or, or the put option, we will compare the spot rate with the exercise price. Okay, let's recall what is call option. Call option is option that gives you right to buy currency at X. Ha, okay, kita akan beli currency pada exercise price. So, we will use exercise price ni to buy currency if the spot rate is higher than the exercise price so the call option will be in the money so we will exercise the option but if the spot rate is equals to the exercise price sama tak ada beza so it will be at the money like i told you just uh, before just now if it is at the money we should not exercise the option sebab you will end up you will end up losing your premium okay but if the spot rate is lower than x okay Ha, tak berbaloi lah pula if you buy currency by using X but X is higher than spot rate it will be out of the money so again you will not exercise the option to buy the currency sebab exercise price lagi besar daripada spot rate lebih baik lah kita beli currency by using the spot rate ok put option pula what is put option put option is the option that give you the right to sell currency at X ok uh, bila you beli put option, you have the right to sell currency at X. So, when the X is lower than spot rate, tak berbaloi sebenarnya you jual pada X. Sebab X rendah from the spot rate. It's better for you to sell the currency pada spot rate. Because why this situation will be out of the money for the put option. Uh, jadi, we will not exercise the put option to sell the currency. But if the spot rate equals to X, it is at the money. Again, sama macam call option. Kalau kita jual currency guna uh, X sekalipun, you will end up, tak ada apa-apa, bukan tak ada apa-apa, you will lose your pre premium sebab spot rate equals to X. But, okay, if the exercise price is higher than spot rate, apa maksudnya? Alright, you boleh jual pada harga yang lebih tinggi sebab X tu besar daripada spot rate. So, it is in the money for put option. Uh, so, for put option, if the X is higher than spot rate, you will exercise the option. Okay? Uh, so, hati-hati. And normally for FIN 542, kita selalu bercakap tentang... Uh, Untung rugi bias sahaja. We are all uh, untung rugi bias of the option sahaja. Sama ada buyer of call option or buyer of put option. Okay. Uh, we are not talking about the positions of the sellers. Sellers of call and sellers of put option. Uh, jadi soalan tak akan tanya how much. Normally dia tak tanya how much is the profit or loss for the sellers of the option. For the writer of the option. Soalan selalu fokus kepada bias. Buyers should exercise or not? Will buyer gain profit or will buyer lose from exercising the option? Ah, itu. Alright. Ah, uh, the seller's position you will learn when you do futures and option in your uh, part five. Okay. So let's proceed with exercise one. Okay. Katakan dia bagi kat kita assume a put option on pound GBP is written with a strike price of uh, USD 1.50 per GBP. Exercise price berapa? USD 1.50 per GBP. Premium payment pula. Premium dia USD 0.10 per GBP with the expiration date three months from now. Okay, one contract pound equals to GBP 65,000 unit. Okay, in this case, dia bagi uh, size of the contract satu equals to GBP 65,000. Okay, if a dealer holds, maksudnya if the dealer buy, hold tu maksudnya he bought. Okay, alright, dia dah beli sebelum ni. Now, he is holding 10 option contracts. Okay, calculate his net profit if the pound is traded pada spot rate berapa? USD 1.35 per GBP. Okay. So, let's highlight what have been given to us. Spot rate dia bagi dalam soalan ni. Okay, 1.35. X is how much? 1.50. And the premium is USD 0.1. Okay, this is put option. Put option, alright, is the right, is the option that gives you right to sell pada X. Dalam kes ni, X is higher than spot rate. So, it is in the money for the put option. So, when it is in the money for the put option, the dealer will exercise his option because he can sell GBP at higher price. X lah maksudnya. Okay. So, 
For this question, how to calculate the profit, sama juga macam sebelum ni. X minus spot rate minus premium, but this time you times with the number of option times contract size. Why? Because dia cakap kat kita, number of contract kita is uh, is 10 uh, option contract and one contract equals to 65,000 GBP. Ha. So, formula ni panjang because dia nak tahu total profit in total. So, how to calculate? You take the exercise price 1.5 minus 1.35 minus 0 0.1 premium times 10 contract times GBP 65,000. You will get profit by how much? 32,500. Okay. And then let's say we have the second question. Should or should not the dealer exercise the option if the pound is traded at 1.45 GBP? 1.45 GBP. Calculate his profit or loss. Again, kita akan bandingkan X dengan spot rate. In this case, when we compare, uh, the spot rate berapa? 1.45. Exercise 1.5. Again, we can see that the spot rate is lower than X. When the spot rate is lower than X, it is still in the money. When it is still in the money, dealer will still exercise the option. Uh, okay. Sebab dia masih boleh jual pada X. X dia 1.5. Okay. So, we will calculate. We will take the X minus spot rate minus premium times 10 contract times 65,000. Uh, GBP, the contract size. You end up getting loss 32,500. Rugi? Yes, dia rugi. Kedah rugi kenapa? Exercise. Because, dengan dengan betul-betul ni, eh? kenapa kita still exercise? Sebab kalau dia tak exercise, maksudnya, Dia tak jual langsung currency tu What will happen? Alright He will let the option expire Alright Dia biar je uh, option to burn macam tu Bila burn maksudnya Yang dia rugi adalah pre premium How much premium dia? 0.1 Okay Kalau dia tak jual He will lose the total premium ni 0.1 USD Sebab dia burn kan Dia dah beli option tu Tapi dia tak guna Untuk jual currency So he will burn the uh, option. He will burn the premium. Okay. 0 0.1 USD. But don't forget how many contract did he buy? Dia beli 10 contract. Satu contract pula bernilai 65,000 GBP. So, kalau dia tak exercise, dia akan rugi banyak ni ha. Alright. USD 0 0.1 times 10 times GBP 65,000. This is the amount of premium that will get burned. Yang akan ha hangus macam tu saja. So, to reduce the loss, Alright, the dealer should still exercise the option. Cuba tengok bahagian ni. 1.5 minus 1.45, dia untung lagi sebenarnya. Tapi bila tolak dengan premium, baru dia, dia rugi. Baru Barulah dia rugi negative 0.05. So, if the option still in the money, you should exercise the option. Kalau tak dapat profit pun, you can reduce the loss. Okay? So, remember, as long as the option is still in the money, tak kisahlah call ke put ke. Kalau bila you compare to masih positif, you will need... You will need to exercise the option Still need to exercise the option Kenapa? Kalau tak dapat untung pun At least boleh reduce kan Loss Tapi kalau dia dah out of the money Completely jangan exercise Kalau tidak You punya rugi berganda-ganda Okay and now let's do the sec, uh, the next one. Let's say we have the third question. Based on the preceding example, determine the spot price that will make the traders earn uh, 0 0.25 profit. Sekarang kita target nak dapat untung 0.25 per unit. Okay, per unit of exchange rate tu kita nak untung USD 0.25. So, based pada soalan tadi, dia bagi X kita 1.5, premium 0.1. Okay, so the profit, this is the formula. Okay. This time around, kita tak akan guna formula panjang sebab dia bagi our targeted profit, okay, uh, cuma 0.25. Maksudnya, itu cuma uh, untung per unit of exchange rate, okay. Ha, stop. Kalau lah dia bagi your target profit, you nak dapat 25,000 ke 2,500, ha, barulah kita guna formula panjang. Tapi kalau dia bagi dalam unit kecil ni, maksudnya simply use formula yang dalam kurungan tu sahaja. Okay, ini adalah target untung kita 0.25 USD. Dia nak dia soalan ni tanya what at what spot rate will give you this amount of profit. So kita nak cari SR. So you buatlah ke sana ke sini ke sana ke sini tu. Okay, your uh, mathematics, right? Yeah, that you have learned sekolah menengah dulu. So you will get spot rate spot rate 1.15 USD. So kalau uh, spot rate sekarang ni 1.15, maka untung yang you akan dapat 0.25. Okay? Alright, let's do June 2019, question 4A2. Okay, a currency trader purchase or buy or long a 3-month call option. 
3 months call option apa dia uh, harga option tu pula premium USD 0.02 per unit and strike price X adalah 1.47 ok the contract size 162,500 and then soalan ni sama macam soalan nombor 3 tadi if the trader wishes to earn net profit 0.05 USD per euro calculate the spot price of the euro at the date of expiration but this one is call option so again let's highlight what, ha what have been given to us uh, ok Uh, the X, the premium and the contract size Tapi contract size kita tak pakai pun Sebab apa? The target profit yang kita nak tu cuma 0.05 Okay So for call option How to calculate the profit Spot rate minus X minus premium So again this is the amount of profit that we want to gain So kita masukkan spot rate yang kita nak cari kat sini In the formula Figure-figure lain kita masukkan You ke sana ke sini The spot rate that we give you profit by 0.05 Will be 1.54 Okay And then we also have December 2018 Question 4A2 A speculator purchase a put option Ah, The long put Dia beli put option Alright Of Australian dollars Strike price 0.8 Premium 0.02 Dia kata assume uh, The Australian dollars rate On the expiration date is 0 Is USD 0.74 Sorry Okay Ini ada spot rate nanti At maturity Okay Should the speculator exercise the option on this date? Ha, dia tanya patut ke tak patut exercise? First question. The second question, what is the net profit or loss per unit to the speculator? Okay. So, kita highlight sekali lagi apa yang dia bagi. For the first question, should the speculator exercise or not the option? Kita compare lah. This is put option. Kita akan exercise kalau spot rate is high, uh, is lower than X for it. So, in this man, in this money pula. In this case, SR berapa? Spot rate 0.74. X berapa? 0.8. So, it is in the money. So, the trader should exercise the option. And then, how to calculate profit? Ha, masukkan je lah dalam formula. You will gain profit by USD 0.04 per unit. Okay? So, so these are the questions that you have to do. Uh, I believe you have... Uh, I hope, no, I believe, I hope you can understand what I have explained. So, please do all the questions. We will discuss uh, later on. Okay, see you. Assalamualaikum.